Here alongside with head coach Greg Zimmerman of the men's battler basketball team. Coach, last night you got your 10th straight victory over DE. Uh, started out the season 0 2, two tough losses to Charleston and IUP, and the PSA, who's now ranked top five in the nation, has been for most of the year. Uh, what has been the reason for the strong start after losing two gifted players last year from in Stan Hall and Sam Ligon? Stan was a second team All American. Well, I think everybody's in the same boat every year. Everybody loses players in that, so it's how quickly your players come together and that, and the scheduling has a lot to do with it. Uh, we haven't played a lot of the higher end teams on our schedule yet. We've played a lot of teams very comparable to us, and uh, you know we've been in a lot of tight games and been fortunate to come on top on, uh, on most of them, you know, other than the Charleston game. But we won three or four games down the wire. But uh, you know when you got a player like that, Terrell Ergol, who's been with us for four years, is a major factor. And, and the young kids, new kids coming in, are starting to grasp it a little bit. But uh, it's a continuing process. But it's early in the season yet, so you know. We're not going to hang our hats on that yet. Well, as we've previously mentioned, uh, you did come out against a much, much improved D&E yeah. team uh, from, from what we've seen in years past. And you come out on top 66-62, led by Terrell Ergel's monstrous night, near quadruple-double, which is nearly unheard of. Um, but what were your thoughts on the game against this much improved D&E squad? What were some of the things that uh, you liked and some of the things that you feel like your team can improve on? Well, I thought defensively in the half-court scheme we were pretty good last night. I think we defended the dribble pretty good with something we haven't done well and something with the teams coming up we're really going to have to do well, especially with the West Virginia States and some of the schools. But uh, uh, we were very poor on defensive transition at the time. Our guards got underneath and, and as fast. They were much more athletic even than we were last night. And when they got out on a break, uh, that's where they probably scored 12, 15 points last night. So we did, did not do a good job there. I think offensively at times we were impatient. Uh, so we got a lot of ways to go, but we again, like he said, Terrell had a tremendous game, you know, and uh, you know, 20 rebounds for us last night was big, and his, his big time steals that turned into layups at the other end. But uh, it, we're making a lot of bad decisions at times in the game that it, it, it really cost us, and it will against a really good team. So there's a lot of work to be done, and there's not a lot of time as far as preparation, and practice, and that it's it maybe an ongoing experience thing that these guys have got to understand. When we're, trying to make adjustments and talk to them about it. All right, well, Thursday night is the game many have been waiting for. Um, probably not much competition of the biggest home game of the year. Tomorrow night, I mean, Thursday night, State comes in, top 25 team in the nation. Um, lost players, but came back strong with what they did last year. Highly athletic and just loaded with talent. What needs to be done to make sure you walk out of here with Rex Piles with a victory on Thursday? Well, it's going to be extremely tough because they're 9, 10 deep. They're, like you said, they're very athletic. Uh, you know, I don't think we want to get an up and down tempo game with them because they're even faster than what DNA was and they're more talented and skilled. Uh, we need to be a little more patient, I think, offensively. We really need to be tough with the basketball. You know, we need to rebound the ball well, we need to defend the ball, we need to do everything. And, and you say it, it is a monster game for us only because they're ranked number one in the, in the conference and, and where we're at right now. But there are so many games. With, what are we, six and one or something like that in the conference? So we're talking about 15 games to go. So as big as it is, it is still one game. And, you know, no matter what happens on this, we still got to prepare for Seton Hill on Saturday. But uh, I'm sure the intensity level it won't be a game where we have to pump the crowd or the kids to be ready to play. They're going to be ready. It's just whether we execute. If we don't execute, it's a long night. If we execute, then there's maybe a chance. All right, well, again, this is head coach Greg Zimmerman with the men's basketball team. Thank you for swinging by here on the coach's spotlight. Um, and good luck against State on Thursday. And hopefully next time we talk, we're still on this winning streak. That would be nice. Thanks, Tony. Thank you.